today is day seven for shark week and we have some seafood patties that we're gonna make so you can call these either crab cakes or tunic patties or anything like that but these are whole food plant-based so there's no actual seafood um, or animals in this but we are going to make it just like when we did the crab dip um, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna flavor it to taste like seafood but without it actually having any animals so um, this is great for like a summer cookout if you have somebody who loves seafood but wants to get a little healthier, wants to go whole food plant-based, or if you love, loved seafood before and you want to try it out. The way we're going to make it taste like seafood is if you watch my crab dip recipe, I'll link it above, um, it's exactly the same way. You were going to use the nori sheets and I just teared a nori sheet up by hand right here into small pieces. We're going to use one complete um, sheet. If you are a little bit uneasy about it being seafood or too much seafood, do half a sheet. I want it to taste like seafood, so I used a whole, a whole one, so it's up to you. But you're going to need one nori sheet. You're going to need two cans of chickpeas that I rinsed and drained. You're going to need one large clove of garlic. I have three kind of some really tiny cloves so they equal one large clove. Um, you're going to need about half a cup of diced onions. I'm using red onions. One tablespoon of miso. You're going to need two flax eggs. So how I do the flax eggs are it's um, one flax seed that's ground up to three parts water. So it's one flax tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of water that you're going to mix up and let sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. I did two, so it's two tablespoons of flaxseed, six tablespoons of water that I let sit. And again, all of the directions and ingredients will be listed below. You're going to need about a cup of whole grain um, breadcrumbs that I have right here, Dijon mustard, and Old Bay seasoning. And you're gonna need a food processor. And we are going to bake these. Most crab cakes are fried. We, of course, are gonna bake ours we're not doing any oil. So put your chickpeas in a food processor. And then you wanna just add in your other ingredients. The breadcrumbs leave out. So your clove of garlic, your half a cup of red onion, I just chopped it to help my food processor out a little bit. A tablespoon of miso. And just do like a nice squirt of um, Dijon. It's probably more like a tablespoon though. Get the rest of this off in there. You're gonna do a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. And your nori sheets and we're gonna throw in the flax seed as well that's gonna help bind everything together and see how it really gelled up it's a super great alternative to, to an egg so now I'm gonna go blend this up and then we're gonna form our patties roll them in the breadcrumbs and then bake them you want to combine everything until everything's like well incorporated. I still have a couple pieces of chickpeas that are whole, which is fine with me, but most of it is more like mash. So now you're gonna get um, a parchment paper. You're gonna get your breadcrumbs out. So I'm gonna air fry mine, but if you're gonna do these in the oven, you would preheat your oven to 400 degrees and cook them for about 10 minutes, and then flip them and cook them for 10 minutes on the other side. I'm gonna air fry them at 350 and I'm going to air fry for 10 minutes and check on them and then um, possibly put them in for, for a little bit longer. I'll let you guys know with air frying what the temps are. But again, I'll have everything in the description box below. So just take your mixture out. You just want to form a little patty. And everything is sticking together thanks to that flax egg and the Dijon mustard. And then you're just going to roll it in your breadcrumbs. and go ahead and put it on your parchment paper. 
So I just made little patties with it and you can smell the seafood smell from that nori sheet. And my food processor didn't cut up the nori sheets like super small, which I like to see the chunks of nori in there. If you want it to be really, really, really small, um, I would suggest using maybe like kitchen scissors and um, cutting them up really fun. Fine. So my cupcakes are ready to go into the air fryer. They look so good. And again, I'll have the description of how to do it in a regular oven if you don't have an air fryer. But we're gonna throw them in. I love that you can see the pieces of red onion and chickpeas and nori sheets. So while our crab cakes are in air fryer cooking, I just wanted to share with you a really great tip that I think is going to blow your mind. Um, whenever you would go and go to like a Chinese restaurant and get sushi, sometimes there would be like an orange sauce that was usually made up of hot sauce and mayonnaise. Um, well, I recreated the same kind of texture and taste by using things that are not going to be bad for you. So what you're going to need if you want to make this spicy, thick, it's like a thick mayo sauce um, without mayo, so it's not, you know, gross. Um, but you're going to use a, a package of silken tofu firm and hot sauce and put it in a blender and it makes this beautiful orange color and it makes the same texture and pretty much the same taste without anything bad. You're having your protein from your soy and you can make it into a dipping. So I do this when we get vegan sushi. This is great with the crab cakes. So yeah, just a quick little tip. Definitely do it in a blender so it makes it nice and smooth. But this is gonna be so good on top of those crab cakes. They just came out of the oven and it smells so good. It was 350 degrees for 20 minutes in our air fryer. And just be careful when you transfer them that they don't break, they are a little soft. Um, and if you make them in the oven, I'll have all the measurements for that below as well. But they look so good, it smells amazing in here and that dipping sauce is gonna go great with them. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments below if you make these if you have been loving our shark week series so far we only have one more day i'm so sad that it's almost over but i have a really good recipe coming out tomorrow for you guys and yeah make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye